Well, Dutchman is interesting in that it's one of the early pieces, um, although Wagner does consider it the start of his mature operas. Um, and Dutchman is very evocative of the forces of nature and is quite impressionistic in a French way. The vocal writing is quite Italianate in that it has set arias and set duets and long melodies and um, the psychology of the piece is quite dark and romantic in the German vein. I thought that the chance for the company to do a big Wagner work would be a wonderful and unique opportunity. I felt that with The Flying Dutchman, his work that is really at the heart of the Romantic period was something that would give us a chance to showcase our orchestra, our chorus of composed of many young artists, and to bring on a wonderful cast of people who would be debuting in their roles, not unlike when we did Aida this year. Uh, it often can have the effect on a conductor or a singer or an orchestral player or an audience member, opera lover, uh, as sort of a drug. Um, the psychological and musical depth of his operas grab you and they hold you until the very end of each of his pieces. He also had this incredible vision of the art form, the genre, of being a complete synthesis and marriage of music and drama and art and literature and architecture and some dance. I think the chance to hear Wagner's music in such an intimate surrounding with a full orchestra, chorus, and voices that we will be having is an amazing oral experience. Many people, uh, especially the lovers of Italian opera and French opera, many of those audience members tend to find uh, Flying Dutchman to be their favorite of the Wagners because it, it brings them sort of to the Italian school and then also into the French school and then also into the great German romantic school. It's the most evocative, I think, of his operas in many ways. Um, there's a famous comment that you just open the score and a storm comes out at you right away.